This is from, <clears throat> excuse me, Psalm 85 appointed for today. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Today's celebration of St. John the Baptist, and that's the part of the psalm appointed. And reading it this morning, I realized uh, how true it is in this very moment that truth is springing up from the earth, from the ground uh, in Canada, but in so many other ways. Uh, painfully, but um, that truth and mercy uh, meet together in it. There are 250 children um, speaking, in a sense, from the ground, from our common history, children who were dishonored, uh, children who were forgotten, and children who were not forgotten by many in their families, but just never seen. And then revelations today of... Um, 700 and something more and knowing that uh, this is going to continue to happen in the in all the residential schools. Uh, the woman in the gospel who was speaking to Jesus was advocating for her child uh, with Jesus who can heal. But he was tired. He was he was seeping, he was seeking escape. Uh, and he said to her, uh, shockingly, really, um, I'm here for our children first. Um, I'm here for our strays, not your strays. I'm not here for everybody, seems to be saying. And she, uh, even more surprisingly and amazingly, persisted and uh, like Jesus would ask us to do, she turned the other cheek. Uh, she didn't respond so much negatively to the dog's comment, uh, but she said, even the dogs get the crumbs from the children under the table. Our children uh, is an interesting phrase. The, uh, the possession, the sense of possession, the sense of of not just ownership, but connection to our own people uh, and not to other people, as Suzanne so, was said so well at the beginning, uh, reminded me, reminds me of a bunch of things. Uh, when our kids were little, our, uh, our oldest time graduates from high school today, but when she first went to kindergarten, we, we live just a walk away from the school. So we would walk her over to school. We'd take turns walking her over to school. And on the rainy days, a lot of the people at this school will drive their kids to school um, so they won't get wet. But also, I think, to protect them. There's a tremendous sense of protection of our children in this time and place and certainly in this neighborhood. But the amazing thing about that was as, I, as we walked our children to school, uh, especially on rainy days, uh, we had to be super careful not to get run over by a van or an SUV as people hustled their children to school safely and then zoomed off to get to their workplace. And it just was one of those, you know, because I would hyper protective of my kids, revelations that um, while protecting our own, we we sometimes in danger and obviously in the past in peril uh, other children looking out for our ways and our people. Um, it's, it's a natural kind of thing. And I think that anybody who, especially when, the, for some who weren't aware of all of this uh, from the Truth and Reconciliation Commission report, um, we're looking across the room at children or grandchildren when they're imagining the kids uh, without graves, without markers, uh, without a connection to their home ever again. And it was hard. Um, it's natural to feel that way about our own children and to identify like that, but it's, but it's not gospel. And this woman, um, in her encounter with the living good news, the Holy One, Jesus himself, 
uh, expanded, like a couple of other women in the scriptures, expanded his own vision, uh, reminded him. Um, and in so, she, in so doing, she advocated for us. This is she was Gentile. Um, uh, Jesus was speaking about the Jewish people. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful to her in reading this, that she was in that moment, in that story, advocating for all of us to be included in the, in the gospel, in the good news, in salvation, in the life uh, in Christ. And in so doing, Jesus remembers, I guess, I'm not sure when it went on in his head, that his mission wasn't just to his own children, his own uh, lost sheep uh, of Israel, but to, to all. And that shift in Mark's gospel at this point to the mission to everyone, the universal mission is a key part of that gospel. The really great thing about Jesus' response to this is that he loved it. He, lo <laughs> he liked that she said that. I can, I imagine a big smile coming across his face and saying, because you say that you go home and see your daughter. Um, who, when she did go in faith, her question was in faith, but her going was also in faith. Um, she came to see that, that her child's health was restored. And when our health is restored, we're not, we're not just feeling better. We're restored to our family, to our community, to our life again, and to our people. And there, are, and there are so many people you represent and are engaging in the work of, of Primates World Relief and Development Fund, which is a, an organization that's always advocated for all the others, um, serving, healing, intervening, persisting through these projects when there's a crisis, like the relief piece of it, but also the sustainable, expanding uh, global response to need. Um, in development, and I'm I'm thrilled to be a closer part of it as the as a connection uh, to the House of Bishops in the Anglican Church, um, but also to the new projects, the wonderful you know light for every birth, and all the kinds of things that are resonant with this with this story and with what's going on um, in our negative impulses to uh, to make other make people other than us, different than us, separate from us, excluded from what we've got. It's a difficult moment though, <clears throat> and truth um, is coming out openly. I pray that God, uh, um, truth seeking light will shine everywhere um, and that we'll get through this uh, in, in partnerships and that we'll be able to trust that mercy and truth uh, have met together and that righteousness and peace have kissed each other and that truth will continue to spring up from the earth and righteousness look down from heaven. Amen.